TV, the post-game TV interview, you know, a mission kind of dominated from the start. How much were you all kind of focusing on that during the off days after the way game, the game three and four began? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was definitely a big part of it. You know, we just had to come out with the right, uh, the right focus, the right energy uh, from the get-go, because those are obviously, uh, that was obviously a big advantage in those two games in Atlanta. And so we, we knew we had to come out right from the get and play a full 48 minutes on both ends. Jeff, the way the game changed, you know, over the past decade, you had to change your game. How much of tonight felt like it was a throwback um, to your early days where the, the paint and the post dominated? You know, I'm just trying to go out there and help my team however possible, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, playing that new modern three ball game, four stretch game or being inside. And, and what was great about today is we were really all just basketball players playing together, both on offense and on defense. You know, we, we were playing off one another, making plays, making extra passes. Uh, and it was a lot of fun tonight. Eric, man. Uh, Brooke, just what did you see from Drew early? Um, it felt like he was physical, getting to the paint, just uh, from the start, it was over and over and over again. Yeah, he, he was just very assertive and, and making plays for everyone. He was getting the paint, making plays, reading the defense perfectly, not even really reading the defense, you know, making making the defense, make, it, make a decision, and then playing off that. You know, he, he was absolutely a, a huge spark for us. Um, when people drive typically on this team, Giannis runs to the front of the rim. Um, you got to do that tonight. Uh, how much fun did you have running to the front of the rim uh, <laughs> as Drew turned the corner? And just kind of what was that like for you? Uh, yeah, it, it was uh, definitely fun. You know, uh, like you said, Giannis gets to do that. I'm usually watching him. But uh, it, it's easy when you have guys like, like Drew and Chris who are making plays like that. They draw so much attention, command so much attention, rightfully so. And uh, they know how to make that extra pass, that play to whoever it is. If it's me diving or Bobby or Pat in the corner or PJ, like whatever it is, you know, they know how to make the right play. Uh, as you're creeping in the dunker and you see Drew throw that alley-oop, what's your first thought? <laughs> I was actually, uh, you know, I was like, oh, this is behind me a little bit. But I just, you know, tried to go get it. You know, he, he's been so great at making the right play. Uh, he put it up there, you know, and, and that's on me to just go get it and put it in the rim. So you, you're thinking, oh, I gotta go get it. But once it's like back here, uh, is there any doubt that it's gonna get to the rim? No, I, I, I honestly, I just was like, all right, grab the ball first off and then just get it to the rim one way or another. <laughs> uh, but he just, he made great play after great play, you know, almost every time down tonight. Jim? Brooke, um, Drew is, he's been asked that question about like the pressure thing, the team getting him, and he has said it from day one, there, there is no pressure. What is, what kind of tone does that set and has that set maybe where you know what kind of guy and player he is, he is traded for, but he doesn't, I mean, it, it, clear, it doesn't seem like he car carries that at all. No, no, he's very comfortable in these situations. And, uh, you know, that's something like how I talked about, we, we just kind of built from the preseason to the regular season all the way through it to now, just, just having that confidence in ourselves as players and as a team you know, knowing that we've been through a lot of stuff through this season, we've learned through a lot of stuff, both in wins and losses, and we have that experience as a group. And, you know, as individuals as well, we, we're, we're confident in ourselves and we know that we can go out there and, and that we can excel in our role. I think that's just having trust in one another, that, you know, our teammates are out there with us, and then obviously we, we know what each and every one of our jobs is. Um, I, I know, obviously, Giannis has missed games, We've talked to you after games like this that you've had, Brooklyn Brook and, and all that. I, I guess <laughs> if you don't know when he'll be able to come back, does it, I don't say you want to help, or, or do, do you think about that this may be what is needed of you the, the next, however many games? Yeah, I'm, I'm prepared for whatever is asked for me by the team, but it, it's absolutely just uh, everyone stepping up together to fill that. You know, obviously no one can replace Giannis. He's... Uh, freaking two-time MVP, uh, so much of what we do, and not, no one person's going to replace that. It's a matter of everyone stepping up, and I think everyone showed that they're capable of doing that tonight. Malika, have you seen a replay of the dunk yet? Of uh, Drew's lob? Yeah. I, I saw one. Uh, one of the owners showed it to me, and <laughs> that's uh, 
about as long as I'm going to stay in the air, I think, in my life, probably. <laughs> you said it was a bad pass, was it? And he, I, I've always told other players and guards, just try to get it to me, and I'll try to do the rest. <laughs> so he made the pass, it was a good pass. Good enough. <laughs> Our shorts. Brooke, you know, so much of the time now, as you say, you're a stretch five, you're camped behind the three-point line. What was it like to play that Brooklyn Brook role tonight and be the old seven foot one guy that just towers over a game like this that's so important for your team? Yeah, you know, like I said, I was just trying to read off Chris and Drew who were making good plays throughout the whole night, you know, and, and honestly, I was just more concerned with being as effective as I could on defense, you know, communicating with everyone, all of us being together. Uh, knowing that we're going to switch one through five. So just, you know, I, I was trying to put a lot of energy there as well and, and make a difference on that end of the ball. And the fact that you got two block shots right out of the jump, how would you describe your defensive mindset in this game? Yeah, um, you know, I was obviously just trying to be aggressive, trying to have an effect. And, and it's something I've said all season, just, you know, knowing that my guys are back there behind me. I have four guys back there behind me who are there to help. Uh, makes that job a lot easier. Steven Watson. Hey, Brooke, uh, understanding what the you know goals were for this team at the beginning of the season to know that you're one game away from the NBA Finals, uh, how does that sound? It's exciting, you know, uh, but it's obviously not done. We need to bottle that energy and effort that we had tonight and do it again in two days. All right, thanks, bro.